Land is a finite resource on Earth. Around the world, people have tried to create more land by filling in shallow bodies of water, but in the end, there's only so much land on our planet. So what exactly do we use this land for? We use it for living on, producing food, and for recreation, but don't forget about all the living organisms, the natural users, who use it for their residence in the natural ecosystems. They need the land and the resources to live out their life cycles. The photograph below is a housing development encroaching on farmland in Northern Virginia. It's important to remember that the non-human users of the land, native plants and animals, play an important role in our ecosystems. Many forests and other open parcels of land provide the valuable services of cleaning our air, filtering and holding water, producing oxygen, and storing carbon dioxide. The image above is the Natahala National Forest in North Carolina. Now that you've completed part one, let's move on and look at the land use and you know, possible future availability or lack of availability. You have to remember that not all land is perfect for agricultural processes. It has to be sustainable. It has to be have fertile soil, adequate precipitation, good growing temperatures. And as you can see by the map, we don't have a lot of land mass suitable for agricultural processes. So now you're ready for part two of the lab report to look at some data and some trends to see what our future holds.